Hey guys, welcome to my PlayStation 5 launch day vlog and unboxing. Today's currently Tuesday though, so we're two days away from the PS5 launch in the UK and the rest of Europe. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to do a 24 hour review of the game, so I need to go to Tesco. I need to go get some energy drinks, some snacks and that. So I thought, well, let's start the vlog near the start of the week and we can sort of see the whole of the whole what I'm doing basically before the launch. So I get preparation and everything. And then tomorrow I'm going to do a little a segment where I'm going to sort of show you my current setup, where I'm going to place the PlayStation 5, where the PS4 Pro will be sitting and everything like the TV and that, what it's going to be set up on. And then obviously on Thursday we'll be going down to game, we'll be picking up our prepaid console, a couple of games. And yeah, I'll be starting an unboxing obviously, so the unboxing will be part of this video as well. And then once we've done that, the video will be uploaded and I'll be starting the 24 hour review of the console where I'll be testing how comfortable the controller is after 24 hours, how the console is reacting to like noise, to heat and everything like that. So everything will be packed into that review. Um, some of the games as well, I'm sure I'll be reviewing in the video. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go straight to Tesco now, go grab some snacks and I'll see you at Tesco. Hey guys, I'm just walking to Tesco now. Um, I've got this really cool bag though, it's this last of us bag I got when I pre-ordered. I ended up getting three of them. Let me show you if I can just hold it up. So I ended up getting three of these last of us bags. It's got the, um, just get it out. Put the logo on as well, I thought that was really cool. Um, especially for a PlayStation 5 vlog, I thought it'd be really cool to include. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Tesco now, I'm going to see what I can get. I'm going to get some Monster Energy drinks, um, chocolate, you know, all the junk food, all the good stuff for a 24 hour session. <laughs> We're done in Tesco. We didn't really get that much to be honest because it was like we're getting a McDonald's breakfast in the morning takeaway and then we're getting like a traditional Italian pizza in the evening. So I thought we'd just get some snacky bits, some energy drinks and that. But I'm gonna head home now. I'll show you what I've got. Hey guys, so I'm back from Tesco. As you can see, I've got a big bag full of goodies. Uh, so I'm gonna go through each of them now. So as you can see here, I have Doritos. So I thought I'll get these, not something I'd always normally get, but if you can see here, they are the Official PlayStation 5 sponsor crisps. Um, so I thought they'd be perfect for a PlayStation 5 live stream. So firstly, I got those. Then we got a huge bottle of LucasAid Sport raspberry flavor. Um, if I get an energy drink that's not fizzy. Next on our list, we got a new crunchy caramel M&M chocolate bar. Not sure what to expect here, but I do like chocolate and M&M, so. Perfect combo and caramel flavours are a little bit different. Down there. Next we have my favourite drink and that is Pepsi Max. Um, I always seem to get energy off Pepsi Max even though it's got no sugar apparently. Don't know what else it's got in it but I thought that ah, just mixes the flavours up a little bit and it is my favourite drink. Then we have just a regular Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate Bar. It's probably my favourite chocolate bar. It's nice and simple. Dairy Milk. Um, probably the biggest chocolate brand in the world. Then we'll finally on our list, we have a Monster Energy drink. Um, they're actually sponsoring Halo, weirdly. So they've actually got an Xbox and Halo um, crossover, if you can see that there. Uh, obviously Halo the Infinite didn't launch with Xbox, so the XP I think is a bit pointless, but it will be usable later when the game comes out next year, probably. Um, so yeah, it's not sponsored with Call of Duty this year, which is different. So that's everything for Tuesday pretty much done now. So into Wednesday, we'll do the setup and then we'll go to Thursday and do the big stuff and get the console on the way. So guys, it's currently Wednesday. We're one day away from launch now. Uh, so I've just been going from my room, setting everything up really. So I'm just moving my PlayStation 4 Pro 
um, down to where the BT box was now, which I'll show you in a second. And I'm also just uploading all the save data, so don't forget to do this. You don't have to go back to PS4. Upload your basically your save data installed on your system to the online uh, online cloud. If you have PlayStation Plus, you've got 103 gigabytes of data there. Just so you don't have to, if you want to play some of these backwards compatible games, you don't have to go back to your PS4 and upload these to the cloud unless it does it automatically then you'll be okay as you can see the room is pretty messy at the moment i'm just taking a shell out and giving it a good clean uh, so my ps4 pro is currently sitting on top of the tv stands if i can just zoom out for you here and you can see obviously it's plugged into my tv so that is an lg b9 oled um, this supports 120 frames per second so it's 120 hertz um, I definitely recommend this TV. It's definitely one of the best TVs I've ever had, of course, because it is an OLED screen. It also supports 4K HDR, um, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, and it's also not a bad price. I mean, it's, it's about £1,000, which is like, it's, it, it sounds a lot, um, but it, it's a really good price for an OLED screen. I think it's probably one of the cheapest. Um, as you can see, I've got my PS4 Pro sitting here, the Kingdom Hearts 3 limited edition PS4 Pro. Um, it's done me well for a few years. I did buy it as a replacement for my other one that was, um, was really stupidly loud and basically Call of Duty and that wouldn't load on it anymore. Um, but yeah, this one gets just as loud, so it's still not perfect, but it's done me well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to drop that down into here and I'm going to put my PS5, PS5 on top here. Hopefully it's not too big. Obviously we do know it is a very big console. Um, so I'm hoping it just comes to about here maybe. So I'm going to have it vertical. And yeah, um, here's my gaming chair. So I'll be sitting. Obviously, you can see all this normally with my videos. Um, and I have a Battlefield box here, which is cool. So I got this with the Collector's Edition of Battlefield 1. And you can just see the Battlefield sort of like the title there. And I just use a box of storage. And obviously, I've got my um, Elite Pro headset from Turtle Beach. You can see it there. And TAC, which is TAC's really great because you can just customise all the audio, game, chat, audio, all lights up and everything like that. Uh, I've got a few games here. This is my main game that I'm playing, really. Uh, some of the backwards compatible games as well that have been supported for PS5, which I thought I'd keep them out just in case I play them. See if I can focus on There you go. Yeah, I've got a last picture there as well, which I think is pretty cool. Um... A few statues, pop vinyls, and then I've got my bubble heads and some Assassin's Creed statues up top. Yeah, that's pretty much my room. Um, yeah, I'm just going to finish uploading these save data. Um, we moved my PlayStation 4 today as well. Hopefully, it don't overheat under there. Should be all right because I won't be using it very often. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's finally launch day. I think it's about seven o'clock now, very early. It feels a bit like Christmas. Uh, I'm proper tired still, but I think about 20 minutes, we're going to head down to game and go collect our console and set it all up. I think they open about 8 o'clock, so once we've done that, I mean, we're going to go get McDonald's breakfast and then head back and I'll do a bit of an unboxing for everybody. <laughs> We are now in town. I'm just going to go to game now. I think it's a bit of a queue. Uh, so I'll film that and show that for everybody. finally home and there she is the ps5 in all its glory of assassin's creed and spider-man miles morales uh, i'm gonna get it straight open i'm gonna get it started and let's see how it goes <laughs>
just a quick tip, guys, when you're putting your stand on. So I just have to uh, YouTube it just to see how it goes on. So it sits like this. I've got it upside down. And obviously you twist this and you get the screw out, which is in here right now. And then it just it slides into there. It doesn't properly like see. So we'll just line it up and then you sort of just push down. And so it just anchors itself into these two gaps here. Sits on, I've obviously got a screwdriver, so I'm gonna tighten this, and that's how it sits basically. So guys that was my vlog for the playstation 5 launch date and unboxing i hope you all enjoyed it i'm gonna head straight into the 24 hour review now so this video will go up and then this the review will be going up probably about friday or saturday um so thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next video